Okay, so new chapter Chapter 4 is magnetic field Subtopic 4.1 Magnetic field 4.1a Define what is magnetic field Okay, magnetic field is defined as the region Around a magnet Where a magnetic force can be experienced So, means that uh, Benda ni you tak nampak Tapi you boleh guna uh, Serbu iron Then you tabur pada magnet And then you nampak shape Di mana ada shape tu Itu adalah uh, menunjukkan Ada uh, Medan magnet lah Iaitu magnetic field Okay So a stationary electric charge Is surrounded by an electric field only Maksudnya kalau charge tu Duduk diam-diam kat situ You akan nampak lah Electric field line uh, Electric field line sahaja But when the electric charge move Maksudnya Charge bergerak Ada velocity So dia akan surrounded by electric field And magnetic field Okay Sebab dia akan wujud uh, Magnetic force That's why dia ada magnetic field Okay The motion of the electric charge Produce the magnetic field Okay Sebab dia bergerak Dia ada velocity Bila ada velocity Dia ada charge Dan dia akan wujud force Ha, macam itulah Okay then Magnetic field has two poles We call it as north and south uh, The magnetic poles are always found in pairs Where a single magnetic poles has never been found Maksudnya macam mana pun magnet You akan ada dua kutub lah Utara dan selatan eh North and south Okay so as you know that light poles They akan repel each other Kalau opposite poles They akan attract to each other Okay, next is magnetic field line Okay, magnetic field line are used to represent the magnetic field Sebab magnetic field you tak nampak Jadi macam mana nak tahu dekat situ ada magnetic field So, kena wujudlah magnetic field lines yang kita boleh guna Sebuah iron Okay, by convention, magnetic field lines leave the north pole And enter the south pole of the of a magnet Okay, then magnetic field line can be represented by the straight line or curve. So, the tangent to a curved field line at a point indicates that the direction of the magnetic field at that point. Maksudnya dekat sini, contohlah kalau kita ada curve eh, curve line macam ni. So, direction of B selalunya adalah tangential to this. Ha, macam itulah. Alright, so magnetic field can be represented by cross or dotted circle Maksud ni represented saja. Tengok atas pandangan kita lah sama ada side view atau top view kan Yang kita boleh guna lah uh, Cross means that dia adalah enter the page And dot adalah dia adalah leave the page Okay, so uh, Tak semestinya untuk B eh Uh, dari sini tak semestinya untuk magnetic field saja. Uh, cross dengan dot ni boleh juga represent by current flow. Uh, sama ada current out of page atau current into page. Uh, bergantung pada position current tu sama ada uh, side view ataupun top view. Uh, macam tu lah. Okay so nanti you akan tengok lah lepas ni. Okay we have uh, uniform field. Okay uniform field is represented by the parallel lines of a force. Uh, this means that the number of line passing perpendicularly through the unit area of the all cross section in the magnetic field are same. Maksudnya contoh you ada shape ni, okay, sama dengan shape ni, dia punya area sama and then dia masuk region of B pun sama bilangan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yang ni pun 7 juga. So, itu kita panggil uniform field. Okay, magnetic field bagi A sama dengan magnetic field bagi A2. Okay, how about non-uniform field? Non-uniform field is represented by the non-parallel lines. The number of the magnetic field lines varies at the different unit cross section. So, kalau you perasan, section A ni, area A tak sama dengan bilangan magnetic field line yang masuk area tu. Hmm, lagi kurang, maksudnya nilai medan ni adalah lagi rendah. Okay, the number of line per unit cross sectional area is proportional to the magnitude of the magnetic field. Okay, lagi kurang maksudnya magnetic field dia punya nilai adalah semakin kurang. Okay, then magnetic field lines do not intersect one another. So, maksudnya dia takkan intersect means takkan bertindih lah. Okay, uh, macam tu.